One thing that has really impacted me is that small habits create your lifestyle. And so it's really in the little things that we do that really is going to play into some bigger things that we do in life. For example, you know, in my apartment, I have a home for everything. So whether it's my keys or my socks or clothes that are too dirty to uh, hang back up, but not dirty enough to put in the laundry basket, like where does that go? Like I always have a spot for everything. And that's why I tend to not lose things either because I always know where it is. But that kind of organization also trickles into other areas of my life where I organize and have a system for everything. And so I find that, you know, being mindful of those small habits is really important. So instead of just like dropping my clothes on the floor, like I always have a system of where things go. Yeah. I I love that tip. I I actually recently got like a rack in my room. I'm like, this is where I'm putting my in-between clothes. I'm not putting them on a chair anymore. I'm hanging them up so they can still air out (laughs) and it looks better than a pile on the chair. Um, you talked about yeah. systems. Um, do you mean like your to-do list and things like that? Or can you describe more in detail these systems? Yeah, that's a great question. I think in terms of systems, it's more of not so much a to-do list, but just um, having everything thought out as to where things go. For example, clothes, um, having like, these are where the long sleeves are. These are where the workout clothes are. These are, so instead of like color coding it, I just have it where I know exactly where to go to get whatever I need. And that's the same with my um, apartment and things like that. Um, But in terms of systems in our daily lives, it's like finding a routine or a system that works for you. For example, working out is something I find is really important to me and moving our bodies, you know, as often as we can. And some people work out every single day. I found that that doesn't work for me because if I work out really hard one day and the next day I have to go back and work out that hard again, I just feel really tired. And so I found that alternating works better for me and my schedule. And I look forward to my workouts because it's not happening every single day. So when I am there, I work out even harder um, rather than feeling like I'll be back tomorrow. It's okay. 